Oh, how I long for the warm weather. The longer days, the bright sun rays, the cool breezes. I love it. And I actually live in the Northeast, so I don't necessarily get to experience that beautiful weather year round. However, I have vowed to always take full advantage of my outdoor space for at least six months. It may not always happen, but I try to make it happen. And that means I can use my outdoor spaces May through October. I think that is reasonable. So I'm gonna show you all of the essentials and the favorites that I have for pulling together your outdoor deck or outdoor patio, even your outdoor porch. Any outdoor space you might have so that you can enjoy it to the fullest extent for as long as possible. Welcome back to Martin May TV, inspiring life, home, and style. Summer is my absolute favorite season. I've said it before, I'll say it again, and many more times probably, but it's my favorite season. Primarily because my birthday's in summer, but also because of the beautiful weather. So as I said, in gearing up to make the most of my outdoor space, I've put together a list of all of the essentials I need to make it the most enjoyable and relaxing experience possible. I love for my outdoor space to feel comfy and cozy, just like my indoor space. So that means I'll layer textiles, I'll bring in some beautiful greenery, and also make sure I have a nice relaxing spot to lounge. Outdoor rugs, throw pillows, throw blankets, they all help to soften up the outdoor area so that it truly feels comfortable and ready for relaxation. There are so many options available now that you can find in home goods stores that look like indoor pieces, but are really made out of fabrics and textiles suitable for outdoors. These are good choices to use to help bring the look and the appeal of the indoors outside. Besides the trees and the bushes that are already outside, bringing out some large sun-loving tropical plants is another great way to liven up your space. And it really helps amp up the tropical vibe of your outdoor spaces, especially when my landscaping is looking a bit sad. So really, what good is making your outdoor space all pretty, inviting, and tropical if you don't actually have a spot to sit down and relax? I like to add some soft seating outside, along with a table or two to sit my glass of ice cold whatever on. Emphasis on soft seating. While benches are fine, if you really want to amp up your relaxation game, I suggest adding some cushions, outdoor cushions of course, but adding some cushions out there so that you can sit on and really be comfortable for the long haul. A place to kick your feet up and read a book or really just scroll through Instagram is also key. And even though I love the warm weather, I do not love roasting in the blazing sun. It's important to carve out a space or two with a nice shaded area so that you can enjoy the outdoors without feeling like you're being cooked alive. These areas are also nice for those summer days where you might get a quick rain passing through every now and then. It's also important to have some good quality outdoor friendly drinkware and dinnerware on hand as well. That would be some items maybe made of melamine or good quality plastics that still look pretty but are pretty much indestructible. Those are my top patio and deck decor essentials. I'll leave anything I mentioned or any suggestions that I like linked down below in the description box. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video and that it provided some patio styling tips for you. Let me know if you found any of these tips helpful in setting up your ideal outdoor space. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.